guest tonight is one of my favourite guests of all time, including uh, before I had the show. She is a beautiful and talented actress. Yeah, I used to have guests before I worked here. That's it. Come on in. Sit down. See how well lit my house is? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> She's a good friend of the show. Please welcome the adorable Jennifer Tilly, everybody. Jennifer Tilly. a mess. You can't hire someone to clean this no, up. No, no, I, 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 I don't have that kind of money. Anyway, no one's looking at the floor, Jennifer. You know, my, you know my boyfriend likes if I put on a little maid outfit and I get down on my hands and knees and I pick things up with my teeth, but... Um, you can do that here. Go ahead. <laughs> Help yourself. Can I just tell you, but, though, yes. I, I, I've just, I've been in, I've been in stir. Yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been, I've been inside for a while, so when I see a woman look like you when I come out, it's, it's hard for me. You know what? I'll... <laughs> I haven't seen you for a long time because my career, as you say, has been foundering. I didn't say usually, that. No, I said, as oh. you say, usually when you have something coming out, you come on Craig Ferguson. I think you got something coming out. <laughs> I think you have something coming out, honey, and it's not pretty. No, but... <laughs> okay, it is. All right. It is. It's uh, very attractive. So anyway, when I come on and I see Craig, and he's always really attractive, and then I heard he popped out in Unholy Spawn, and I was a little bit worried because my friends who have babies... Oh, no, I've got two. Yeah, two. Yeah, so yeah. you've popped out two kids since I well, saw I, you last. I didn't, I didn't physically pop them out, and I didn't... No, I've, I've had one for... Ten, oh, hey, hey. I'm just so happy to see you, because usually my friends who have babies, they age like 60 years, because it takes a lot out of you, but look at you, you're as dashing as ever. But it is a well-known fact, when men have children, <laughs> men have children, it makes them more attractive to women, because women say, oh, I want some of that, look at that guy, he's got children, he has the ability to procreate. When women have children, the man doesn't want to have anything to do with them, because they're like, oh my... God, she reminds me of my mom now. She's shuffling around all cranky in her pajamas. And, <laughs> and she's like feeding the baby. You know, it's not like, it's true. When you have a baby, that's why I never had babies. But men, <laughs> I've, had, I've had affairs with men that have babies because there is nothing more attractive than a man walking through Walmart at two in the morning with a giant container of Pampers in his arms. <laughs> you found that when you go out to buy the Pampers for your wife? It's like an aphrodisiac and strange women come up to you and they go, hey, where are you going with those Pampers? Are you Craig Ferguson and do you have one child or do you have two? That's an awful lot of Pampers. <laughs> what are you going to do with those diapers? Do they even have diapers anymore? Did they stop inventing them? Oh, no, 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 no. When I was a kid, we used to have to change our little brother's diapers and you had to do, you, there's a thing, you have the thing. On the end, but now is it like some sort of electronic? Oh, it's a, it's a zipper. It's a zipper, yeah. okay. <coughs> yeah, it's a zipper, some buttons, a zipper. You can weld them um, together if you want. Yeah. Anyway, so that's, that's, that's what I was Well, saying. no, no, no. I've never noticed that ladies find you more attractive when you have children. And anyway, I... I you probably don't notice. When I was married, <laughs> I would say to my friend, I would say, thank God I'm married. Men never hit on me. And she said, Jennifer, they're hitting on you all the time. You don't notice. And I would say, when did they hit on me? She said, a guy just walked up to you and said, where's the water fountain? And you said, it's over there. And I said, he wanted to know where the water fountain is, and I gave him the answer. Right, right. And she said, no, 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 he's trying to strike up a conversation. When a guy says, where is the water fountain? They're saying, I want to sleep with you. Are you game? That's what they're actually saying. Well, well let, saying. Me, let me just ask you. Unless you're in grade school. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yes. Where, where is the water fountain? It's over See there. what I did? See what I did? <laughs> See what I did? I turned it around. Oh, I got it, I got I, it, I got yeah, it. I got yeah, it. yeah, no, I did yeah. that. Okay. How are you, are you still playing the poker? Yes, well, you know what? I'm trying to stop playing poker because Why? I realized, okay, when I was an actress, I would go on the set, I'd say one line, I'd collect my bill for $30,000, and I would go home. <laughs> when I'm playing poker, I go, I go on the poker place, I put my $30,000 on the table, I play for 20 hours, there's nothing left, then I go home. So I thought, I want to go back to the job where you come, you show up, you do something, and you go home with money, as opposed to the job where you show up with money and you go home with nothing. <laughs> okay, when you're, when you're a normal person, 
said, and you go out on a date, let's say, and then you say the really stupid thing where you see the guy's face falling and he's like, I can't go out with this girl, she's a whack job. You wake up at three in the morning and you remember, you're like, oh my God, why did I say that? Why did I say that? Why didn't I just smile and nod? Well, poker players, they say, they say, why didn't I just check raise? Why did I check call? Why didn't I bluff? Why didn't I bet more money on the turn? Poker is an ongoing, it's an ongoing session of never ending agony, sort of like this segment is for you. No, no. He's, he's like, I'm talking. My God, she's become self aware. Craig is sitting here going, Hmm, I really must invent that little soundproof cage for the guests to go no, and no. sit in. Jennifer, I adore you. If you've got something to say, I've I want you to get that, off your I've chest. I've noticed that a renovation. <laughs> I noticed the new thing. He cranked his chair. Have you seen this? He cranked his chair way, way up. That's, yes, but I'm slouching. Yes, but that yeah. means that, that's insecurity. Usually when you go on a talk show, the, I, I know I've brought this up before, the chair is way, way, way down. He cranked his chair way, way up so he could just look down my top. <laughs> that's great. You and that's why I'm an American, show. mister. <laughs> hey, uh, we're, we're strangely enough out of time. Do you want... Uh, <laughs> do, now, here, you might be interested in this. Uh, do you want the glittery ball, haggis and the TARDIS, uh, mouth organ, or do you want to go for the big cash prize? Okay, I saw your mouth was on that mouth organ, and my mouth is going nowhere where your mouth was. And... That's but not, wait, 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 first I, of all, who somewhere else, judgmental bastard? <laughs> and secondly, I can give you a fresh one to blow. Oh, okay, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, oh. I'm not blowing anything on Ryanair. <laughs> and you can't fool me, I went to college and I know haggis is basically uh, intestines filled with um, meat that came off the not floor. Not vegetarian haggis. I, I don't care. I'm okay. going to go for the big cash prize. Big cash I don't prize make any it is. Jennifer Tilly going for the big cash prize. Ding, ding, you know, ding, we should ding, have some ding, music ding, for ding. that, shouldn't we? I'm so happy mm. that robot did not say a single word during my segment. I'm very shy. Okay. If I win the question, if I win it, I'm going to throw it in the audience and there'll be a free-for-all. That's what's going to happen. Hey, hey. Rain, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna undo it. I'm gonna throw it in the audience, hit somebody in the head, and there will be a lawsuit. So, you, you guys can help me. But I'm really smart. I don't need any help. Go on. Go on, Craig Ferguson. All right, then. That's I realized I'm yelling. I've been yelling since I came out, and there was something invented in 1960 called a microphone, and I don't really need to yell. You could hear me even if I talked really quiet. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that last part. What did you say that last part there? Really? All right. Okay. What did you say again? Looking a little closer. What'd you say? <laughs> oh, okay. okay. All right then. Yes. Uh, this is uh, this is for the big cash prize. 1974. No, wait, oh, wait, okay. wait. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Mm -hmm. How many sandwiches did Charles Lindbergh bring with him on his famed first transatlantic flight? How many sandwiches? That's so not fair. None. <laughs> well, I didn't. I didn't hear that. <laughs> But it's not right, probably, if it wasn't a number. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, sandwiches. How many sandwiches? Oh, yeah, right, right, about uh, 43. No. Four! 